which of these are you most likely to put on toast? Beans, marmalade, pate, oh my god, how fancy are we getting here? Strawberry jam, marmite, butter, peanut butter, nothing. Who puts nothing on toast? That person is not British or American. Hey guys, welcome back to the Girl Gone London channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I forgot my intro for a second. I'm an American. I've lived in England for almost 10 years now. And today I am taking Buzzfeed quizzes that promise to tell me if I'm British or American. Okay, so a lot of you comment at certain times like, oh, you actually sounded really British in that video with your manner or the way you said things. And also, uh, some people are like, you've lived here for 10 years and you do not seem British whatsoever. So I thought I would turn to obviously the source of all truth on the internet, Buzzfeed quizzes to see what we can find and to see how I rank on these how British are you quizzes. I have not pre-screened these, so I have no idea what is about to happen, but come along with me. So this one says, Americans, if you get 15 out of 15 on this weird British terms quiz, you deserve dual citizenship. God, I wish it were as easy as taking a BuzzFeed quiz to get British citizenship because I have spent probably 10,000 pounds and multiple years to get there. So let's see if I'm going to be ready. Okay, Americans call them French fries. The British call them chips, true or false. So far, this is easy, true. Americans call it cotton candy. The British call it candy floss, knew that one. Americans call it a clothespin. The British call it a nipper. I've never heard that. Uh, I feel like we're ready for a false and also I haven't heard anybody say that. So, false. Okay, yes, the British do have a different name for it. They generally call it a clothes peg, hence why I had never heard the term nipper. On a car, Americans call it the hood. The British call it the bonnet. Yes, true. Americans call it a pacifier. The British call it a dummy. Yes, true. Americans call them flip-flops. The British call them flats. No, they don't. False. Yes. On ice cream, Americans call them sprinkles. The British call them hundreds and, hundreds and thousands. Yeah, I think that's true. But also I feel like some people in the US say that. Mm, but also did they say Jimmy's here or is that a US thing? I think that's a US thing. I'm gonna go true to hundreds and thousands. Correct. Americans call them mints. The British call them jezzies. No, I don't think so. I, mm -mm, false. Yes, okay, cool. Americans call it a cookie, the British call it a biscuit. That is true, however, they might say like chocolate chip cookie, but um, I people get confused all the time because I definitely, I don't call things biscuits here because a biscuit to me is still the American version of a biscuit. So that's lots of confusion, but yes, they do call it a biscuit. Okay, Americans say counterclockwise, the British say anti-clockwise, yeah, true. Americans say someone ghosted them, the British say someone pulled a Henry VII. No, they do not say that, I wish they would, but that's false. Americans say make out, the British say snog. If you've ever seen Harry Potter, you know this is true. Americans ask someone with a phone for their number, the British ask for their ring up. No, they do say ring to call someone. <sighs> but do they ask for a ring up? No, no, they, they don't, be confident. Okay, Americans call it a butter dish. The British call it a cream crockery. No, I learned in my video that a cream crockery is a word for something else that I've forgotten now, but it's not a butter dish. Yes. Oh, this says this is 100 a fake British term. Oh, that was cream crackered. Just kidding. Okay, Americans might call someone a blank. The British might call someone a git. Yes, I have heard that. Oh yes, Americans, 15 out of 15. Congrats, you're an honorary Brit. Good show. If you ask me, the queen should fly you out to London and throw a parade in your name. Great, done. I'm a British citizen. Do we even need to go further? Okay, I feel confident now. Let's see what happens. Next one. 
This one is, sorry Americans, only British people can correctly identify these 10 pictures. Oh, okay, shots fired. I'm ready. Watch out, Yanks. You'll have, okay, can we just take a moment? People get very mad at me still sometimes for saying the word Brit. I'm still gonna say Brit. I have checked with the vast majority of people in my life that are British. I have looked in British media and Brit is simply like short for a British person. Maybe we could start saying like, I mean, how would you shorten American? I, I, I don't understand how it is offensive, but some people still find it offensive and they say, how dare you say Brit? How would you feel if I say Yank? Okay, first of all though, Americans don't self-refer to themselves as Yanks like in our media or TV shows. You have an entire award ceremony called the Brits. So that's confusing to me. Secondly, I'm actually not offended when someone says Yanks. Um, maybe other people are, but I kind of just view it as like a weird term of endearment, but not necessarily endearment, but like, I don't find it offensive. So anyway, okay. Watch out, Yanks. You'll have to use only the Queen's English to pass this test. What is this? Oh, what? Okay. Pavement. What is this? Options. Sidewalk. That is what Americans call it. Pavement. That is what British people call it. Road sideburns. That is what we should all call it. Motorway. No, that's a highway. Pavement. Okay. So far, so good. What is this? Obviously a lift. If I'm answering in the British terms, portal to Narnia. Can't trick me with that one. What are these? Okay. This, I thought this test was going to be hard. So far, so good. These are called crisps in the UK. What is this? A post box, a beef eater. That's not a beef eater. Mailbox, the queen. This is the queen. Okay. What is this? A post box. What is this? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I think they call it like crosses and something here. Yeah. Okay. What is this? Tic-tac-toe. That's what Americans call it. Knots and crosses. That's what's going to be my answer. A quid and a quack. Oxford chess. Oxford chess. Okay. Knots and crosses. Yes. What is he putting into his car? Petrol. Got that one. What is this? The answer is going to be a jumper. What are these? Okay. Cod swallop. I learned that in my other video as well. That's not, that's not even, uh, these are drawing pins in the UK. I still call them thumbtack. No, do I call them thumbtacks? I don't call them drawing pins, but I think they call them drawing pins. Okay. What is this? <gasps> Chuffed leech. Okay. They don't say cilantro here. They say, this is coriander. Yes. What is this? Aubergine. Boom. Oh, yes. Bloody good job, chap. Glad to see you have the correct grasp of the English language. Okay. I mean, a little bit into themselves, but I passed. Next one. Are you actually more British or American? Let's figure this out. Okay, I'm gonna answer these like not, uh, I'm just gonna answer them as myself. So here we're gonna get an actual answer. Which of these are you most likely to put on toast? Beans, marmalade, pate, oh my God, how fancy are we getting here? Strawberry jam, marmite, butter, peanut butter, nothing. Who puts nothing on toast? That person is not British or American. I would probably put butter. Which of these swear words do you use the most? Oh my gosh, none of them. None, I don't swear. My gosh. Okay. Which version of The Office is better? The UK version. I'm sorry, I just, the UK version, I just, I don't get it because I'm American and I don't necessarily always get that humor. So US version. I think this is going to answer me as American, isn't it? You receive your meal at the restaurant, but it's slightly cold. What do you do? You guys, I just talked about this in my video of British things that I do, which is to not say anything. And I just came up with that. Buzzfeed agrees. Okay. What would I do? What would I do now? You receive, okay, it's slight, if it's slightly cold. Oh yeah. I say nothing to the server, but complain about it to everyone else. That will be the full British answer. I'm gonna say I just keep quiet. What was the last thing you drunk? Drink, drunk? Water. Water. 
How do you feel about the royal family? Love them, hate them, somewhere in between. Funnily enough, I bet you if you answer to love them, that would be the American answer because Americans love them way more than British people tend to. Um, yeah. I'm either indifferent or somewhere in between. I mean, they're, okay, I'm gonna go indifferent. What's your go-to topic for small talk? Again, this was in my video about British things I do. I feel so seen right now. What's your go-to topic for small talk? Weather, weekend plans, sports, news, something else. I just completely avoid small talk. Uh, yeah, weekend plans. I tend to ask people a lot like, what are you up to this weekend? Back when we saw people and weekends meant something. Do you refrigerate your eggs? Uh, we, we do both, uh, but yes. How much do you tip after receiving good service at a restaurant? This is a trick question because which country am I in for this question? <sighs> How much do you tip after? Okay, I'm gonna go 20% because, I mean, this isn't fair because I, I wouldn't do the same in both countries, but I'm gonna go 20%. Have you ever actually said sorry to an inanimate, inanimate object? No. You can only eat one meal for the rest of your life. What do you choose? Roast dinner, no. Fry up, no. Macaroni and cheese, possibly. BLT, interesting but no. Pizza, maybe. Chicken Caesar salad, no. Cheeseburger, spaghetti bolognese. We just say spaghetti. Fish and chips, okay. I mean, mm, one meal for the rest of my life. Pizza, I'm going pizza. When does this end? Where do you keep your washing machine? Again, I know like the answers of which one is British and which one is American. Okay, where do I want to keep my washing machine? In a laundry room. How are you feeling right now? What in the world? I am feeling <laughs> happy. That'll be the American one. You got 17% British and 83% American. There's no doubt about it. You're definitely American. Okay, so I passed the British citizenship test, but apparently I am American. Okay, moving on. This would you rather test would reveal if you're British or American. Okay. Would you rather never have coffee again or never have tea? I don't drink either. So never have coffee. Would you rather complain to the waiter about your crap food and have them give you something better or not face the embarrassment of complaining and just eat your crap food? Now they're just recycling questions. I don't like this one. Okay. I'm 99% positive. We can guess if you're American or British based on this word test. Guys, this isn't fun anymore because I know the differences. So what do you want me to answer? I, okay. All right, we're gonna answer the British way on this one. What do you call this? Biscuit. What do you call this? Petrol station. What do you call this? Crisps. What do you call this? A flat. What do you call these? Sweets. What do you call this? Uh, the city center, because that's spelled the British way. What do you call this? The grocery store or the shops? The shops. What do you call this? A woman in a bathing suit. Oh yeah, swimming costume. They say swimming costume here. What do you call this? Comforter or duvet? A duvet. What do you call these? Fringe. What do you call these? Ah yes, they call them just peppers here, not bell peppers. What do you call these? Trousers. And finally, what do you call this? Pavement. 100% British. Thank you very much. Next. Is your personality more American or British based on this quiz? Okay, now I'm gonna answer as me again. Pick a drink. Oh, orange juice, totally American from the go. Which word best describes you? Okay, you guys can help me with this. Dramatic, funny, bubbly, or sentimental? I don't understand. The only thing here that sounds remotely British is funny. I wouldn't, okay. Comment below, which word would you use on here to describe me? Dramatic, funny, bubbly, or sentimental? None of them? Um, funny? Yeah, sure. Pick a food item. Oh, eggs and bacon, pancake. But 
these all seem kind of American too. Okay. Uh, pancakes. Choose somewhere to go on vacation. Um, hello. Hmm, Bahamas or Bora Bora? Hmm, interesting. Bora Bora. Pick something to watch. Stranger Things, RuPaul's Drag Race, Glow Up, or The Office. Stranger Things. Choose a musician. I don't even know half these people. Um, okay, we'll go Harry Styles. Pick an outfit. Okay. That's just a, I don't, and this is, okay, um, uh, hmm, maybe that one. American, your personality is more American. You're an independent thinker and you strongly believe in following what you're passionate about. You're more of a leader than a follower, but you don't take things too seriously. How did you get that from my love of pancakes? Okay, a couple more to go here. If you're British, you'll have no problem acing this quiz. Okay, here we go. What's the queen's last name? Windsor. Mm, okay. Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor. Did not know her middle names. What's the currency of Great Britain? Hello, pounds. Which country is not in the UK? Ireland, duh. Is the UK in the EU? Not anymore. In what order do the British make their tea? Okay. Uh, okay, no. Milk? Mm, no, not microwave. Sugar. Okay. Tea bag, hot water, milk. Yes. But someone told me the other day that milk shouldn't go in last because it cools down your tea, but that's how I've always seen it done. When entering or exiting the London tube, which side of the escalator should you stand on? If you're standing, you stand on the right. How long is a fortnight? Two weeks. And lastly, oh, aced it so far. Which animal is your birthday cake most likely to resemble if you're British? It's going to be Colin the Caterpillar. I've never had a Colin the Caterpillar cake, but I know that that is the answer. Uh, yes. I'm basically British, congratulations to me. And we have one more quiz. Tell us how you feel about these seven things and we'll guess whether you're American or British. There's method in the randomness. All right, let's try it. Top bunk or bottom bunk, how in the world is this gonna tell me if I'm American or British? Always top bunk. Okay, I'd rather be hot or cold. Mm, I'd rather be hot. Pickles, amazing, or gross, amazing. Cats or cats, real cats. Roast dinner or burger. Okay, I see where you're going with this. I'm going burger. Ketchup or mayonnaise? Do British people like mayonnaise more than American people or vice versa? I'm going ketchup. Fiction or nonfiction? Um, I'm gonna go nonfiction. <laughs> they got it right? American, USA, USA, USA. You're an American citizen and proud. You're bold as brass. No one says that. And don't get phased by public speaking. You like your meats slow cooked. I don't like meat, that's wrong. And you prefer tea of the iced variety. That is true. I don't know how they picked that based on top bunk or bottom bunk, but yeah, they got it right. Okay. Okay, so that was a very mixed, um, results of my British versus American quizzes. Comment below and let me know, am I more British or am I more American based on my videos? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.